guys, welcome to another exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Spot. At number 5, Jose Mourinho wants to see out contracts at club. Jose Mourinho says he is happy at Manchester United and wants to see out his contracts at the club after being linked with a return to Real Madrid. Reports claim that the La Liga giants want the Portuguese manager back to replace under pressure boss Yulen Lopetegui. But the 55 year old, whose old Trafford contract runs until 2020, said, I am happy here. All I am thinking about at the moment is Manchester United. Maria's own job was under question earlier this month when a newspaper said he was going to be sacked regardless of the results against Newcastle. But United came from 2-0 down to beat the Magpies 3-2, courtesy of Alexis Sanchez's last-minute header at Old Trafford. At number 4. Real Madrid's coach, Yulan Lopetegu, bows to fight on ahead of Sunday's El Clasico. Real Madrid's coach, Yulan Lopetegu, says he is going to fight to turn around the club's faltering firm, but could not say whether he will still be in a job for the trip to Barcelona on Sunday. Lopetegu is under pressure following Real's run of four defeats in five games. Results have been great, but we are going to turn these around, he said. Real face Z side Victoria Zen in the Champions League on Tuesday before the Wednesday's El Clasico. What I've learned about the club is to fight. That is the DNA of this club, Lopetegu said that's what we're going to do fight both the players and the coaching staff Lepetegui took over the Bernabeu club after leaving his job in charge of Spain on the eve of the 2018 World Cup under him Real have made their worst start to a season since 2001-02 with 14 points from a possible 27 at number three Brandon Ingram Rajon Rondo and Chris Paul banned after punch-up in the NBA. Brandon Ingram, Rajon Rondo and Chris Paul have been suspended by the NBA after a punch-up during the Los Angeles Lakers defeat by the Houston Rockets. Lakers duo Ingram and Rondo have been banned for four and three games respectively, while the Rockets four had a two-game ban all without pay. Paul said Rondo's part in his face, which led to the fracas that Lakers star LeBron James helps break up. An NBA statement said all three had thrown punch and should be banned. At number 2, Kiki Brightons beat Angelique Kerber in the WTA Finals. Kiki Brightons shocked Angelique Kebra at the WTA Finals after a deciding set that included seven breaks of serve. Dutch player Brightons lost his serve twice as Kebber took set 1, 6 1, but turned the match into set 2 when much of Kebber's poise disappeared. And Wimbledon champion Kerber was broken four times in the decider as Britain's overcame three breaks on her own serve to win. At number one, Yelish McCogan wins Great South run on her debut. Yelish McCogan followed in her mother's footsteps to win the Great South run on her debut in the event. The 27-year-old, running over 10 miles 16 kilometers for the first time, clocked a time of 57 minutes 43 seconds to take victory, beating Step 12 and reigning champion Gamer Steel. McCogan's mother, Liz, won the event twice in 1995 and 1997. In the men's race, Chris Thompson became the first athlete to win the event for a third time. Thompson also beat his previous bedtime, finishing in 46 minutes, 56 seconds. McCogan said, I'm so happy. That was such a strange experience. I didn't know what to expect. And to be honest, that was probably what helped in a way. And that's it for NX Daily Top 5 Spot. For this and more, you can check our social media platforms at NYGZ Extreme or check our website at www.nygz.tv.